Shalom, shalom. In today's video, I will be discussing a mystery of ascension. And ascension means to ascend or to rise. And this mystery is concealed in the Merkava school. And there aren't many mysteries revelating the actual secrets of this school. But in today's video, we will be discussing one of those mysteries. So to begin with, we're going to find the relevant passage in book 13 in the Zohar. And it is in a section called Piku Day. So let us get right into it. The section is, Oh, how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those who fear you. And it says, Rabbi Yossi opened the discussion with the verse, Oh, how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those who fear you. Now, what is goodness? Well, we can see that the word good is here, tov. And tov, the first appearance in the Torah, has to deal with or. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, you will know that or has the same dramatic of ayin sof. And so, that is our clue that the goodness is in the mystery of the construct of the upper worlds which you have laid up for those who fear you. And the word fear has to deal with yira. And there are multiple kinds of fear, but this particular fear is awe for those who are in awe of you, which you have performed for those who trust in you in the sight of the sons of men. Why in the sight of the son of men? Because the mysteries of Hashem, which are the mysteries of the construct, create the universe are in the sight of all men and this is the mystery it goes on to say oh how great is your goodness means how much should people observe and know the ways of the holy one blessed be he again referring to the constructs which go up to atzilut and higher and the mystery of the or which is the ayin sof because again goodness or tov first appears in the torah when he saw the light that it was good for every day a voice resounds and proclaims, saying, Beware, you people. Close the door of sins. What does it mean to close the door of sins? The word door is dalet. And if you saw my video on Ekkad, you will know that dalet, which means door, is malkuth. Stay away from the net that captures people before your legs are caught in the net. And the legs is our next mystery, which will be revealed in just a moment. There is a wheel constantly turning in the world. The supernal judgment, it goes up and it goes down, lifts up and brings down people. Woe to those whose legs are pushed from the wheel, for they fall into a pit kept for the wicked people of the world. And this is our mystery. And here is the mystery. The mystery is the legs. And the legs are netz, netzach, hod, which are the hips, yisad, which is the genitalia, and the bottom of the feet, which is malkuth. And this is the mystery of the legs. Why the legs? Because it is written, vanity of vanities is everything under the sun. And this is equivalent to our soul form, our desire form, or our emotion form, our mental form, and our physical form. And the wheel is the kether, the hokma, and the abina that envelop Malkuth and the mystery of a tree on top of a tree. If you've seen my prior videos, the 231 gates, you will know this mystery. Or if you see the video on the tree of good and evil, you will also know this mystery. Now, what does it mean to say? What does it mean to say whose legs are pushed from the wheel? It means vanity of vanities is everything under the sun. 
and the sun is Shamesh, which is Tiferet. And this refers to the legs because Netzach and Hor are the hips. Again, Yisod is the genitalia and Malkuth is the source of the feet. And in the mystery of a tree on top of a tree, Kether, Hokma, and Bina are enveloped in each other and they create the wheels that surround Malkuth. And when the legs are pushed from the wheel, they fall into a pit. The pit is the Sitra Akra, or the backside of Asiya, which is where all the demonic forces in the Klippa come from. What does this mean? Tifereth is associated with holiness, as it is written, his people are a holy people. Be holy kadosh, as I am ani, anoki kadosh, as I am holy. And it refers to a person who operates in the emotion form, and the mental form, and the physical form, so on and so forth. When they operate in these lower forms, these distract and bring away from the higher grades of holiness. And such a person, when they wish to ascend through Kether Hokman Bina, which means the light, the wisdom, and the understanding, they are unable to receive the light, the wisdom, and the understanding by means of being distracted by their emotion form, their mental form, their soul form, and their physical form. And what does it mean they fall in a pit? It means that they fall into the Sitar Akta, which means the negative polarity of all of these forms, the desire form, the spirit form, the emotion form, the mental form, the physical form, so on and so forth. And this keeps them away from obtaining the higher grades and the higher levels. Now with this being said, we have now revealed the mystery of the lakes and the wheels and the ascension process and what prevents a person. So I'll reveal only one last thing regarding this manner. And it says, Woe to those who fall into that said pit, for they will never rise nor be illuminated by the light stored up for the righteous in the world to come. And do not think that it says world to come, but understand it is the world that is coming, mainly the world of emanation. And it is stored up for the righteous because the righteous ascend into the higher universes to see the construct, which, as it said earlier, is in the sight of men. And understand vanity of vanities is everything under the sun. And the sun is Tifereth, called Sun Shemesh. And the name of Hashem associated to the middle pillar in Tifereth is yod heh vav -Heh. And understand that yod heh vav -Heh is the mystery of the worlds. For Yod is Hatzilut, He is Baria, Vav is Yetzira, and He is Asaya. And it is the constructs that is the light of the upper world. With that being said, Shalom, Selah.